Hey guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with a quick fishing report for your weekend outlook. Right now we're excited. We've got a new moon and we've got some strong incoming tides through the weekend. That should make the inshore bite really strong in that early morning and first part of the day. Near shore, we're seeing some nice fishing action on lanes and mangroves. Offshore, we've got gag grouper season kicking off. We got amberjack season kicking off. So many things to talk about and celebrate. Plus, we got some nice weather going on right now this upcoming weekend week we've got some moderate winds a little bit of bumpy conditions but nothing real crazy everybody's freaking out about a potential tropical system that's 10 12 14 days out we've even had people try to cancel trips based on uh, very low chance tropical models that are 10 days out which is just comical to say the least because these things can change so drastically so don't get your uh, uh, don't get too worked up right now because things are just so 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 light likely to change with a lot of these tropical outlooks. I'm not concerned about the tropical weather at all. We're keeping an eye on it and we'll keep you up to date. But right now there is such a slim chance that something is gonna come this way. A lot of times they can turn, move north. If it's on the east coast of Florida, it really won't have any effect on our area or it could stay and just head directly west and not affect the Gulf at all. So definitely no need to freak out about tropical systems that far in advance. Generally four or five days out is when they start to get a little bit Bit more confident in where those things are actually going to go so we've got a long time before we start talking about the tropical waves that are still very far east of the caribbean now to talk about weather that is going to affect us this week we've got a little bit of a moderate uh, wind a lot of easterly flows uh, Sunday, we're going to have a little bit of a southeast wind. That's opening day of gag season. Going to be a little bumpy, but not terrible. Definitely great weather for our 39-hour trips. We've got great 39-hour options through gag season. Remember, gags are only open September 1st through September 15th, so you've got a very short window to get out there and get your gag grouper before they are closed. Now, we've got 39-hour trips. We've got some light loads on some 12-hours. We've added a bunch of 12-hours because the 12-hour extremes filled up so we added more so definitely lots of 12 hour extreme options for you to get out there and go hunt for some of those gag grouper plus on top of that we've got lots of action on the mangrove snappers the yellowtails things like that too so if you don't want a chance to chase the gags you've got plenty of other opportunities for other great eating fish we're seeing a lot of nice scant grouper right now doing really well on some big trigger fish seeing really good options on nice vermilions we've got a lot of pelagic out there lately the last 39 hour trip of red snapper season brought in a 72 pound wahoo and about a 15 20 pound wahoo some nice big blackfin tuna so a lot of pelagic action up on the surface we've seen some nice sailfish lately so definitely excited to get out there and go hunting for those amberjack hunting for those gags get plenty of snapper and scamp and more and then also have a chance for those pelagic near shore like i said lane snapper mangrove snapper have been the target we're doing real well on those on our 10 hour all days and then we've been getting a handful of hogfish here and there the hogfish action is going to pick up as we get into those cooler months when those cold fronts finally start here in the next month or two that hogfish bite really starts to pick up and get good for us so we're excited hogfish season is right around the corner and then inshore right now, we're seeing a lot of those snook on our uh, beaches and in our passes start to transition to more of that fall pattern, some of that transition. So this is your last chance to really hit these snook while they're concentrated in the passes here in the next week, two weeks, three weeks. Once water start, temperatures start dropping, that's when the snook really retreat and uh, pretty much leave the pass for the winter. So get out there and take advantage of the past snook fishing right now should be a really great opportunity in that early morning incoming tide. Also, we've been seeing a lot of redfish around the docks, piers, bridges, jetties, islands of John's Pass, especially around like, I would say the, the Long Creek, Long Bayou area back by the VA is gonna be a good place to look for those redfish. Been seeing a lot of trout on the deeper edges and around the bridge lights, dock lights at night during the day, hitting those deep edges, those deep hot holes, especially between the islands of John's Pass. The very uh, North Island is one of my favorite. On the south side of the North Island, there's some nice deep gullies in there with some really good trout action. 
Also, we've been seeing a few tarpon around still. We were flying the drone the other morning as the boats were leaving. We had a school of tarpon right on that north sandbar of John's Pass. So definitely chances for tarpon, pretty prolific. A lot of sharks around inshore too. So fishing is going well, inshore, near shore, offshore. Tonight, we've got final Friday. We're pumped about that. And we've got plenty of other chances to get out there on the water. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Join us every Sunday night, 7.30 p.m. for a chance to win $1,500 in free trips. Join us Saturday morning for our Real Animals radio show, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And join us every Friday at 8.15 a.m. for our Fox 13 news segment. Y'all have a great day, tight lines. We'll see you tonight for Final Friday.